What up, family? It is Ghetto News for the Mayor. That's Queen Mary Lee. Real short video. Today is September 11, Freaky Friday. You understand what I'm saying? In my city, Chicago, year 2020. You know the Twin Towers supposed to have dropped on this day, September 11 in 2001. How you like my hat? It's my new biker's hat or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I went, you know, a little bike ride and stuff. It looked like it wanted to rain on me and my my friend here, Rumpy Cat. That's too cool for you. Ugly, no good motherfuckers and shit, especially the ones in this goddamn building that keep fucking with me. I don't know why they think, you know, talking to me is going to make me listen. I don't even listen. I have my headphones on most of the times. You understand what I'm saying? Now... I went and got this here, this here book at the book depository today. It says the world's best and worst school jokes. See, the joke is on you motherfuckers. I paid about $14, $15 for this hat and I put some stickers on it. Got some world travelers and stuff like that, you know, because I like, you know, going, you know, on vacation in my mind. I haven't really been nowhere for real, for real in a while. I need to go somewhere. And, you know... It didn't come with a chin strap. It's a, um, you know, it's a baseball hat or whatever. So, you know, I took the old, you know, uh, one of the biker hats or whatever that I had. And, you know, it's got a hole at the top. And, you know, I just kind of put the chin strap. So, you know, but it's it's secure anyway. It's secure than that, you know, that bike hat that I had from Bale or whatever and stuff. It's a lot secure and stuff, and it's cheaper. I went to a, a bike shop. They want a $50, $50 for a helmet. I'm like, I don't think so, nigga. I'm going to go ahead and work with this and make it my own and design it and, you know, make it work for me and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Real tough. So, like I said, I went to the book depository not too far from where I stay in this trap house, and I flipped this joke book open, and guess what it landed on? Uh-huh. See? See the see the hat and the money? See? You gotta protect your head, nigga, for real. Real fucking tough. Cause niggas want mines, like I said, like they wanted Harriet Tubman. I'm chilling outside, you know, my trap house trying to figure out some stuff, you know. And the neighbors, I don't know why they wanna talk to me. I don't wanna talk to you so you can run and tell your people that I'm flirting with you or something. No, I'm not saying nothing to you. And so since I didn't say nothing. Then another neighbor in my building with his ugly ass and shit keep talking to me like, you know, he know me and shit while he running around and probably the truck that my mama bought. You understand what I'm saying? Because it got my, the date my mama died or whatever on or whatever and stuff, you know, on the license plate or whatever and stuff. And, you know, anytime the truck look better than your ass, nigga, you might want to just throw me the keys and shit. Shut the fuck up. You understand what I'm saying? You see the money, nigga, I never lose. See the money? See? See the cat glasses, nigga? See, we can play ball too, motherfucker. I just got this helmet yesterday. Imagine that. Got this book today. Which means I'm used to making money fast. Buku cash. Try to cheat me and beat me. My boss is busting your ass. Now, got this, this here book, A Wrinkle in Time. Oprah Winfrey, you know, came up with a movie, A, Week, a Wrinkle in Time. You know, they like to read. I don't like doing all that fucking reading, nigga. Tell you the truth. But, you know. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? You see how this goes. And then you got the miracle. The honeybees and beekeeping. A mental health miracle. So, you know, drink some honey and some tea and, you know, get over the coronavirus, nigga. Shit, well. I got this, uh, this cat and Cairo, you know, book right here. You know, you know, I've been seeing a lot of dead cats in my um, city, Chicago. I've never really witnessed that. They've been all up in the gutter. One cat I was walking, I took a video of it. I was, you know, I think I might have been on my bike that day. And, you know, they had hit the cat and guts was all out or whatever and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I'm taking offense to that because, you know, the barcode on this book you know, got my birthday on it and shit. Real fucking tough. You see the 525? So it's basically 
five two four nine five so you got 525 then you know it could be 95 in there or 94 but it costs 24 dollars and 95 cents two plus four is six and in 1995 you know i gave open Winfrey my true uh you know uh child abuse story again you know, after 1984 and then again in 2007, you know what I'm saying? So these two guys, you know, I guess they trying to figure out who going to get the cat. Now, when I first got to this trap house, the cat, it was a cat outside. He didn't have a house or whatever. And it was one across, you know, the alley where I'm at. And they bought them a house and stuff. Next thing you know, the cat in the house was gone and they brought these dogs around this motherfucker and shit. There's a dog in this building right across the hall from me and shit. You understand what I'm saying? You know, they kicking the cats out. And this on page 35. And you know I'm the originator of rap. You understand what I'm saying? Three plus five is eight. Which means I never lose. I flip to this. This is what it said. It says, there's there once were two men who went to a judge about a mother cat and her kittens which they both claim to be theirs the judge demanded that this cat be set free that's me motherfucker i'm the pussycat motherfucker be set free between their two houses and depending on which one of the houses she chose this would be their master and all the people got excited and i got excited the judge with them but then the cat didn't go to either house. You understand what I'm saying? I do not want to be in this motherfucker. But because motherfuckers that stole my house, rap legacy, and everything else, I'm stuck in this trap house until I figure out who going to build my motherfucking house from the ground up next door. You understand what I'm saying? See, my house is next door. I should be sleeping on that land next door. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking so. But because I'm not a cat, cat, I am a cat, but I'm not, a, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. That's why they call it a pussy cat. Because I got a pussy. I'm sorry. Am I doing too much? Look, all I'm saying, you know, let my people go. For real. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all green with envy because I keep whooping y'all ass. Egypt's endeavoring legacy. Mm, cats of Cairo. So, you know, that look like a police badge. You understand what I'm saying? That look like a police badge, right? Leave me the fuck alone. Because if I die, we all die. And that's why all dogs don't go to heaven. You know why? There's only one life to live you got. We got more than one life. And when mine's run out, yours run out. So, you know, the joke's on you motherfuckers because you see, you see that motherfucking helmet, nigga, and nine times out of ten, that's a girl. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe not. It all depends on, you understand what I'm saying? I don't know. Could be. But it's definitely got cat glasses. You understand what I'm saying? Guys don't wear glasses like those. At least they not supposed to. All right, family. That's my um story. I'm sticking it with it. 9-11. I got this one. I'm going to take this one back because they say take a book and, you know, leave a book or whatever. But because I gave my book, Ryan's Poems and Metaphors, plus one song to everybody in the world, I'm keeping all these but that Jefferson Memorial. Because I ain't dead, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Are you dead? I'm not dead. Rest in peace to the victims of 9-11 if that happened. Because everything's a movie, and we don't know what's real and what's not. But I know my story is, and that's the honest God's truth. Let me give you uh, one more cat story. Pay attention. Uh-oh. Here we go. Let's see what page this is. I'm going to have to flip because I don't see no number on here. So that's 59, 60. My story in the Sun-Times newspaper, I was six years old. Drop that zero and get with this Shiro. This is what it says. Among the animals on Noah's Ark, there were some pigs. Noah asked them to behave and stay quiet. 
so as not to rock the ark, but the boar mounted the sore, and Noah hit them with a stick. The pig snorted, which brought out the mouse. The lion had just sneezed, and from his nose appeared the cat who chased after the mouse. The camel, who watched all this fuss, what, fuse, fuss, F-U-S-S, burst into such laughter that his upper lip split. So look, it seems like the cats get along with camels and everything. This is who uh, my neighbor looked like, a camel. You understand what I'm saying? That's the one that was getting on my nerves that driving around in my probably my mother's truck. You understand what I'm saying? You see, that's what he looked like, a camel. Now he famous. You understand what I'm saying? If you ever see this motherfucker come out my my building, this is his relatives. And you see the cat? I'm protecting him because I don't want him to, you know, get fucked up. Real fucking talk. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. Don't get on my goddamn nerves, nigga. For real. That's how he looked, though. I swear. I ain't pro I, Look. I ain't lying. He he got to laugh himself. That's what he looked like. For real. You know what I'm saying? But look at the cat. You understand what I'm saying? We hear that everywhere, even your place. And with that, this your ghetto news reporter, Mary Lee. That's Twitter, Mary Lee. Nigga, you beat me. I told you don't play with me. Peace.